Lexi Allen in Miss Tyrell's fourth hour class and this is my self-help project. So the book I chose is You Are a Badass, if I can find the camera, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincerio. So the book is basically about um, how to identify the self-sabotaging beliefs and behaviors that stop you from getting what you want. And just to create a life that you totally love. So the book is set up in five sections. And the first section is how you got this way. This section is basically about making you realize that your subconscious is at fault for what you're doing. The second section is called how to embrace your inner badass. So this part is basically about just learning to love yourself for who you are and stop trying to change yourself. The next section, the third section, is called How to Tap into Your Mother Load. So this section is kind of about just learning to realize how to get in control of your brain. So like one of the subtitles of this section is Your Brain is Your Bitch. So, yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, the fourth section is how to get over your BS already. And this section is basically about learning to stop procrastinating and just go out and get what you want. Stop making up excuses. So, the fifth section is titled how to kick some ass. And this is basically about just the almighty decision. How to just... Make up your mind, get what you want, go out and get it, and just do it. So, yeah, that's my self-help project, and I'm ready to get it started. Bye. So this is my sister, and I'm going to ask her if she thinks I'm a badass, and if she doesn't, then what should I work on? So do you think I'm a badass? Not at all. Um, you're like really shy and kind of to yourself and you just kind of let people walk all over you sometimes. Uh, <laughs> um, it's true, like it's mean I guess, but it's true. Like you're really just kind of to yourself and like just let people say things and you don't really say anything back unless it's to your family then you get very sassy with us. But uh, you definitely need to work on your inner badass. Right, because you lack in that category. There it is. That's what I gotta work on. Here we go. Look, here's my dog. So my first section of the book is titled My Subconscious Made Me Do It. And in this section, the author talked about how our subconscious mind contains the blueprint for our entire lives. And it's based on the information that we gather as we're growing up otherwise known as our beliefs and for the most part we are completely oblivious to the subconscious beliefs that run our lives and our conscious mind no how no matter how big or smart it is we are still completely controlled by the beliefs we're carrying around in our subconscious minds like for example our conscious mind thinks it's in control but it really isn't and our subconscious mind doesn't think about anything but is in control one of the areas that I could really relate to in this section is like my my conscious mind would be like hey Lexi I want to lose 15 pounds and then my subconscious mind would be like people aren't safe I must build a shield to protect myself and my body's like a uh, fortress of flub so yeah, that's something I think I need to work on. So the second section of my book is titled How to Embrace Your Inner Badass. And this section is a lot about how to learn to love who you are. And the author talks a lot about how we're born knowing to trust our instincts and how to not care about what anybody thinks about us but as we get older we start to replace the positive things with negative thoughts such as false beliefs or fear 
or shame or self-doubt. I believe that I could really relate to this section because I really, really, really realized that we invest everything we've got into believing that we're not good enough. And I think that's something I really need to work on. So one part that I thought that was super cool about this section is there's uh, six steps to helping you start loving yourself again. So I'm going to read them to you. The first one is appreciate how special you are. The second one is do things you love. The third one is ditch the self-depreciating humor. The fourth one is, is don't compare yourself to others. The fifth one is forgive yourself. And the sixth one is love yourself because it's the holy grail of happiness. And I actually wrote down these because I thought they were really cool and important. So, yeah. So the third You're section important. of my book is titled um, Your Brain is Your Bitch. And in this section, the author talks a lot about how important it is to think always think positively and that our thoughts are the most powerful tool that we have. The one thing that stuck out to me the most in this section is that our biggest mistake as humans, we demand to see evidence before we start believing something. So we have to change our thinking first and then the evidence will appear. The thing that I think would help the most to um, help me make my brain my bitch is surround myself with people who think the way I want to think. So my fourth section is titled how to stop your BS already and this section is mainly about procrastination which we all do it we all know how bad it sucks and I really want to figure out on how to fix it and how to work on it. So the book states that procrastination is one of the most popular forms of self-sabotage because it's really easy to do. Like if you're not serious about changing your life, you'll find a way and you'll make an excuse to not do it. So the book states in one area where it's like, um, make a bet with someone mean is a good way to work on your procrastination. Like, uh, make a bet with somebody that will hold you to it and they have no mercy. So I think I'm going to try that out with my sister because she's kind of mean. <laughs> so this is the final section of my book and it is titled how to kick some ass and it's about the almighty decision which the almighty decision is to never give up like nobody gets on top of the mountain without falling on their face over and over again like, for example, Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team for lack of skill. And Steven Spielberg, a high school dropout, was rejected three times from film school. And Thomas Edison was called too stupid to learn anything by a teacher and tried more than 9,000 experiments before creating the light bulb. Like, those are only three people of thousands of people that stuck to this book, book's rules. Like, they wanted it bad, they got really, really good at it, and then they stuck to it like glue. I just agree a lot with this section because I give up on things a lot because I think that they're too hard to do. But, as I read, it's really easy to stick with what you want to do and you can become amazing at it, even if you started off really bad at it. So now that I've finished explaining this whole book to you, I just want to talk about how it's changed me overall. Um, one thing that I really did like about the book was every section that did have steps, the last step was always to love yourself because that's the biggest thing of being a badass. You have to love who you are and you can't change yourself. So I definitely don't think I've completely accomplished the life of a badass, but I 
have improved in a lot of areas. Um, of course, I want to get better and I plan to keep working on it and following the steps of the book. I think one of the things that I have improved on a lot since I read this book and this for this whole month um, is actually loving myself because one of the main things that I focus on is like getting up in the morning and looking in the mirror. I used to be like, oh, I look horrible this morning, but now I'm working on being like, wow, let's point out the good things. And that seemed to help me a whole lot. So I still believe that the main thing that I really really still need to work on is uh, not giving up the almighty decision um I have a real big problem with doing that because I think that I'm not good enough or that I don't meet the standards to be able to do whatever I think I can't do so I my main goal is really to focus on that um, till I can believe in myself and know that I actually can do what I put my head to so that's really what I plan to work on and I hope that my friends and my family see my improvements within a short period of time thanks to this book We don't have to worry about nothing Cause we got the fire And we burn in one hell of a something They They're gonna see us from outer space Outer space, light it up She abandoned the project <laughs> So now I'm here Take him over. <laughs>